guys. I hope you guys are having a great week. It's time for our chapel lesson again. And our lesson today is about the fruits of the Spirit. And I know these are things that you guys have talked about in your class. So the fruits of the Spirit are, um, it's something that God gave us as tools that if you are doing what you're supposed to do, if you're living by the fruit of the Spirit, then people that know that you're a follower of Christ because you're doing the right thing. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And it's a really good reminder right now because I don't know about you, but being at home all the time and around your family all the time and not getting to see your friends and do the things you want to do has kind of tested me. And there are days when I may not show all of the fruits of the Spirit. And so this is a great reminder of what we need to be doing. So the first one is love which means be nice to others, family, friends, and especially strangers, right? Even when we don't want to. The second one is joy. Joy, I've had a hard one on joy today. Don't be grouchy, don't be angry. You know, when we don't get to do what we wanna do, sometimes that's an easy one for us to, to feel. So God wants us to be joyful. The third one is peace. Peace means to be content and happy and just okay with what we have and where we are. That right now is hard too because right now everybody would like to be doing some different things. Number four, patience. We have to wait our turn, right? We can't whine and complain. Great reminder. Number five, kindness. Be nice, be helpful, say something nice, have kind words. We talk about that, we pray about that every time when we pray in chapel, right? Kindness. Number six, goodness. Caring and doing the right thing, right? Like maybe cleaning your room, doing a chore before your mom and dad ask you to. Sharing with your siblings before your mom and dad ask you to. Just going the extra mile and doing something good. Number seven, faithfulness. Always do what God wants and always believe in God's love for us, right? Right now that's hard too because it's scary, right? We're not really sure what's going to happen, but faithfulness is knowing that God has us and he loves us and he's going to take care of us no matter what. Number eight, gentleness, staying calm, being sweet, being tender to everyone around us. We talk about gentle hands, right? All of those things. And number nine, Self-control, managing your emotions, keeping calm, keeping your hands to yourself, self-control, having kind words, not saying everything. Even when you're mad, sometimes you have to control what you say, right? You can't say what's on your mind because you're going to get in trouble. We have to have self-control. So... If we're doing all of these things, right, then we are living the way God wants us to live and the way he said we would. That's what it's like. To, that's what it's about to be a Christian. So let's think about that as we go through our week and our days, and especially now that we know we're not going to be able to go back to school the rest of this school year. It can be hard, but we just remember that this is what Jesus wants us to do. Hey, guys. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed our lesson for today. Um, so now it's time to stand up and we're gonna sing and have a good time. So stand up so you can get your body moving. Are you ready?
birthday time. So we want to say happy birthday to Jude Edgington, Samuel Ferguson, Joshua Mimbalu, Noah Overby, Lucy Perdue, Joseph Robbins, and Caroline Willie. Hope you have a happy birthday. Let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. Very good. All right, let's sing one more song before we go and say a prayer before we go. Sorry. We're going to sing our this little light of mine, so I need everybody up and ready to sing.